My name is Josh Hicks and I'm a photographer um, with the News and Tribune and I've been with them for six months now. So um, being, a, being a photographer at the News and Tribune basically means doing anything from studio photography, whether it's you know, set up lighting or uh, event photography or sports. So uh, a typical workday for a photographer at the News and Tribune would be um, either going right to the office, leaving my cameras in my car because I know I'm going to turn right back around, or going straight to, to something for the news side of our paper. Um, and then in the middle of the day, we usually take a break, and um, at night we cover high school sports like basketball or swimming or wrestling or anything like that. The Women's March on Washington, Indianapolis location, um, has to be, so far, my favorite event that I've attended. Um, just the historical capacity that it holds is um, it's pretty remarkable. There were over 7,000 people there, and it's a lot of people to see on the state capital of Indianapolis, you know. So I guess if I could combine two animals, um, it would be a dog and a pig. Those are my two favorite animals, and um, I think pigs are really smart, and I think dogs are great companions and also really smart, and um, a really furry pig would look pretty wacky, so yeah. So if I could photograph any person, it would have to be my personal hero, Tim Heidecker. He's a comedian, a filmmaker, an artist, a musician. Um, he's kind of a genius to me, and I love the guy. I wish I could hang out with him for a day and take his picture, so. So what inspired me to, to become a photographer um, was actually filmmaking. Um, in, in college, I, I got into short filmmaking and doing music videos and stuff like that, so. Um, I started out kind of in the art realm of narratives, or forming narratives rather, um, and then now I kind of shifted gears and I'm doing nonfiction news work, but I think that there's a, a strong line of realism that I, I drew between the fiction and nonfiction world that influenced my photography in both stills and motion, if that makes sense. <laughs>